Welcome back, welcome back. We are playing anti-chess. Um, quick introduction, if you can take a piece in anti-chess, you must. All, piece are, all pieces are the same value, actually gain three points every time someone captures one of your pieces. First player who has no available moves wins the game. Um, I'm going to go here. Blue could go here, or blue could capture my queen. Or, of course, that's now an option. Um, I'm hoping to get rid of my queen and my bishops as early as I can in the game. If I go here, that limits blue's moves. Now blue um, has an easier time taking this queen. Of course, green, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let green stay over here with the queen for as long as I can. I don't want to capture this queen because this queen will be doing more benefit to me than uh, would be the case if I didn't capture. Okay, so this is forced. Well, I could go, I can take this. You know what, I'm gonna take here. Green probably wants to give up that queen. By capturing here, um, it limits the moves that I can make. Okay, interesting. Okay, so now green must capture there, or actually after I go here. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, let's, let's get rid of our bishop, leave the blue queen over here. That bishop is gone. Um, I can capture here or here with with the bishop. Maybe I'll go for the same strategy. If blue captures here, I have to recapture his queen. He doesn't want his queen over here any more than I do. So let's... Where do we go here? Um, I'd rather take a knight than a pawn. Generally, pawns are hard to, to get rid of. The more, pawn, the more pawns you can force your opponents to hang on to, the better, especially as you get closer, closer to an endgame. Rooks are, can be dangerous pieces to have exposed. If you keep them in the corners, they're generally, generally safe until an endgame where they're easier to get rid of. All right, Blue, what are you going to do? Take my bishop. If Blue doesn't take the bishop, where do I go? I'm going to go, I'm not going to take the bishop. Maybe I'll take the king. King, like knights, are easy pieces to get rid of later in the game. So taking those pieces doesn't do as much harm as it would to take a pawn from red. All right, so now blue has two options. Just hoping that blue would choose that option. All right, this red rook is on a diagonal where I can hang a king. All right, that's good. Now I'm going to have to uh, give up, or I'm going to have to capture the, the rook. You know, one of these two moves is going to be giving up a rook for me. Oh, I have to capture. Red can go here. And I want to recapture with this one. I don't want to lock this rook in place. But this is a good position for us. We have five pawns. Probably want to get rolling with those sooner rather than later. Um, and we have our rooks. The knight is easy to get rid of, as mentioned. Greens being conservative, not opening up too many options. Red doesn't have force captures. Blue doesn't have force captures. It's not often that you're at this stage in an anti-chess game where uh, not a single player has any forced moves. Of course, now blue has a forced move, but it'll be a capture recapture real quick. Maybe this diagonal gets opened up for the bishop, and I can put something... Okay, so green is stopping that. Maybe uh, green wants to get rid of this bishop, and now that the rook's over here, allow it to stay there. That is the case. Push the pawn, get rid of the bishop, bring the knight, bring the rook over. That looks good for me. But much smarter, in my opinion, would be to get rid of the pawn instead of getting rid of the bishop. If this bishop comes out to life at this stage in the game, it's dangerous. Green is lucky to have a move here 
that red will have to recapture the bishop. Um, I would much rather see this, or as red, I would much rather allow green to capture here and then recapture with the knight, because bringing this bishop out is not a good idea. Uh, bringing this rook out is not a good idea. All right, so red now needs to make a decision. I don't understand that move. Um, let's put our rook over here. It's a slow move, but now I can later on drop this pawn on this pawn. I don't want to do that now because, of course, blue just recaptures here, and then I have to capture. I'm the one who captures. So now this is a forced recapture for blue. I go here. Now is the time to push this pawn. Okay. So like we predicted, red recaptures with the with the knight. This bishop now can be given to red. Let's do this again. Priority here is to get rid of pawns. Um, Oh, this, okay, so this was a forced move. Red has this diagonal whenever he wants it. Of course, this square is where he's aiming. Now we have a rook out here. Green cannot do anything. Green has to capture, and then we'll see that. Um, let's keep pushing that. Now what will red do? I think red moves the bishop somewhere. Where is he moving the bishop? Out here. That's good for me. Oh, it's not good for me because blue just takes it, obviously. Let's continue trying to get rid of our pawns. Red goes here, then here. What is that move? Oh, because now green can recapture there, I suppose? I'm not sure. I am still learning the basics of four-player anti-chess. So, you know, I'm going to go here. Okay, now we have that. We have this. Uh, oh, I want to be careful because this rook is defended. So maybe I go here first. No. I'm going to do this. Eh. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to bring the rook out. Where do I bring the rook? I think here is the safest. And then swing the rook over, push the pawn. I have to give up the rook here now, and then and then push this pawn so that green cannot hang the bishop. Also forces green to make a decision with this bishop. Where does he want to go? Has to probably get off of this diagonal. What square is a safe square for green with that bishop? Pretty much nowhere. Oh, okay. I suppose this is a good move. Good find by green, but now I'm threatening the same thing with this pawn. Okay, so now green does that, and now it's really going to be decision time for green. You've got to find a safe square. Otherwise, I'm going to be getting up a pawn. Can green even find a safe square? This diagonal, no good. This square, no good. This square, this square is good because, no, blue has two options. I was going to say blue might be forced to promote there, but he's not. Uh, wow, green continues to find these, these safe squares out of nowhere. Let's push here. Oh, that would be a promotion, wouldn't it? Let's go here. Of course, we're going to see that. Nothing that could be done. 
if this pawn stayed, blue would uh, blue would give up the king there. I'd like to be able to promote there. Will blue allow me to promote? Now red, oh, okay, so that's good, but green now has a forced move to get, get off of this uh, square. Let's, let's promote. Yeah, let's promote. What are we prom promoting to? A king is usually the safe option. I don't have time to calculate other things. Knight is no good here. Okay, I didn't see that move by, by green. It's a good move. Green is, is most likely a strong player here. All right, next up is this. This bishop, it was a safe square at the time. Oh, maybe he was hoping for that. That's coming next. Oh, but again, we have this issue. So what's the deal here? Maybe green does this so that when blue promotes, this isn't a forced capture. I don't know. These end games are very, uh, very difficult for me to, to calculate. So that's a move, isn't it? And then one, two, three. Uh, I should probably get rid of this first. But then, okay, so here means that blue will have to capture, otherwise, otherwise blue would win. Green should do something with the bishop. Good, good, green. Let's get these pawns rolling now. Here and here, and then green will be able to promote faster than blue can make it over to that side of the board. Uh, we have this move. What is red promoting? Queen? That was ill-advised. This works. Why on earth do you promote to a queen? And then we win. Right? What am I missing here? That was such a, okay. This is the uh, Grand Prix Masters Tournament, 1800 plus rated, but <laughs> what kind of 1800 level player promotes to a queen? Of all the pieces to promote to, that's not the right one. All right, now red at least doesn't lose, but wow. Okay, so a good win for us. Red, as predicted, oh, lowest lowest rated. Okay, so it was a mouse slip. Um, but a good win for us. We're above 2,000, have been for a while. But uh, good game, solid win, solid play, and a, and a good introduction to Andy Chess. So that was the video for this week. I should mention I did try getting a hyperbullet video for this week, but uh, I, was, I was going slow. The lag is too much when I'm recording here with, with hyperbullet. Anyway, so uh, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching.